Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the XSTAR VX4 Visible Mixer and some time ago I did a review for the MX4 Mini Mixer here and some of your comments were well this is a good charger but too bad it doesn't have an LCD display to show what it's doing so XSTAR has uh, read that and they developed a new one so this works similar with the MX4 so you don't have to be uh, an expert in batteries to charge every kind of battery so this does that for you but you also get a nice big display and some extra functions to help you with that uh, one of the most important uh, functions is the capacity tester which works not only for regular nickel metal hydra nickel cadmium batteries that are old but uh, also works on uh, lithium ion batteries and last but not least the most important thing it works for uh, XSTAR uh, innovative 1.5 volt batteries. These are lithium inside and they have a smart BMS and they output exactly 1.5 volts. Uh, these are really, really interesting batteries and I believe that they are going to replace all the nickel metal hydrate and other stuff like that because they have good capacity and they work much better than rechargeable batteries, normal rechargeable batteries. And I'm going to explain you why up just a bit later, but now let's take out this from the box. So the charger comes in a pouch. You get the manual, which is of course in several languages. It has instructions, it gives you tips how to use it. This is my cat. And now I'm going to remove the cat from the camera. <laughs> she will come back later right and the charger looks this way a bit bigger than the regular mixer here and we get a 30 watt charger here if i'm not mistaken sorry it's actually 20 watt so this gets included with this one but you can actually buy this optional with this if you have your own so you can save a few bucks Another advantage of this charger is uh, because it uses uh, USB Type-C you can actually power this also from a power bank or from other USB sources it doesn't have to be the original charger or a dedicated charger and just like that you can charge also on the go and now I'm going to insert the battery and I'm going to show you the basic functions so you have three buttons here you have C, V mode and uh, milliwatt hour with milliamp hour the idea is the following with this button you can change the charge current but that is for the lithium ion cells uh, and you have several modes to choose from on uh, nickel metal hydrate and uh, such kind of batteries uh, it chooses a different current which you can see from uh, here you can change it with the mode button short pressing it changes uh, the display here so it has 150 milliamps charging current if you press that again it shows how much current it had put into the battery then with uh, this button if you keep it pressed for a longer period of time it's going to change the working mode from lithium ion to lithium uh, phosphate batteries then this button here if you keep it pressed for several seconds is going to change from charging mode to battery testing mode and this works the following uh, way it's going to fully charge your battery regardless of its chemistry you can do this with different batteries at once it's going to fully charge all of them and then it's going to discharge all of them it's going to measure their capacity and it's going to uh, store on the screen the capacity that it was uh, discharged then it's going to fully charge your batteries uh, back again but it's going to hold the display here with the amount of uh, current that has been pulled out from the battery another novelty from XR is the new 18,650 cell and you are not seeing here uh, wrong it's a 4000 milliamp capacity cell uh, you may say that uh, the best cells in the world from uh, known brands barely reach 3500 milliamps well that's true but this one is going to be tested right away and we are going to assess if it has the claim capacity or not but probably this is going to take a lot 
a lot of time uh, charging it, discharging it, and then charging it back again. So I'm going to let this run, and I'm going to add here somewhere some captures. When uh, that test is over with different cells, so I'm going to test some nickel metal hydrate. Uh, this uh, innovative lithium ion 1.5 volt battery, smart batteries, uh, for their capacity, and of course this 4000 milliamp cell and the result should be somewhere here and you are going to see that they are actually impressive and this cell really has 4000 milliamps so i don't know what they put into this battery but uh, it's kind of a record for such kind of a cell and uh, i was promising you at the beginning of this video what is so smart about this uh, 1.5 volt batteries well the idea is the following when you are using regular nickel metal hydrate, they have a nominal voltage of 1.2 volt. The regular alkaline cell has 1.5 volt. When you are using batteries in devices that don't know about rechargeable batteries or don't have a setting for that, as soon as you start using rechargeable batteries, because the nominal voltage is lower than the nominal voltage of an alkaline cell, it's going to throw you an error that the battery is slow. These batteries work totally different, so the idea is the following. Let me draw you a graph, maybe you can see it. So this is the voltage and this is the time. Uh, a regular battery works in this way, so it has here 1.5 volt, and we are going to get a discharge over a period of time. Where this is, let's say, 1 volt, and it's dead for your device. Nickel metal hydrate, when it's fully charged, has around 1.4 volts, so it starts already discharged, but it's going to have a discharge curve such as something like this. So it's lower because it starts with a lower voltage. So you get a low voltage alarm much more faster. This battery works in totally different way because it has an internal cell that has lithium chemistry the internal battery has around 3.6 volts nominal but it has a electronic circuit that stabilizes the voltage and permits charging discharging the battery so this battery when it's fully charged is going to have 1.5 volts but it's going to keep the voltage completely stable up until it's almost empty because you want to signal the device that the battery is running over so it doesn't shut down unexpectedly when the battery is almost empty, it's going to drop the voltage suddenly somewhere to around 0.8 volts, which means that a normal alkaline battery is uh, completely dead at 0.8 volts, so it's almost dead actually. So your device is going to see suddenly 0.8 volts and it's going to throw you an error that your battery is dying. So that's how this battery works, it keeps the voltage constant. This is very important when you are using several of these uh, batteries because the more you use the bigger the voltage is for instance if you have uh, a pack that uses uh, 10 batteries like this there is a difference because you are going to have 15 volts uh, rather than uh, 12 volts so you get several volts difference between using this or other batteries and this type of cells are very useful if you have uh, sensitive electronics or some other things even toys for instance lego uses some uh, power modules that work okay with normal batteries but if you put rechargeable batteries it's going to throw you an error that you need to replace the batteries and it's always going to show you empty and it's going to operate slowly so you need to replace and charge them right away with these batteries you are going to get huge playtime and the battery are always going to show up full and that makes uh, this uh, type of uh, rechargeable batteries uh, very good also for other devices such as uh, Xbox controllers uh, if you don't have the rechargeable power pack you can use this one also you can use them in low power applications such as uh, TV remote you know that you if you put uh, rechargeable batteries in your uh, TV remote especially nickel metal hydrate they have a self discharge and most of the time the self discharge is much more higher than the consumption of the TV remote if you are going to use these these have a very 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 small self discharge almost non-existing 
so you can use them also in those uh, kind of uh, devices and last but not least you get also this uh, power saving mode you press this button here you keep it pressed and it turns off the display this is also good if you leave the batteries to be graded overnight uh, and you don't want a big uh, light in your room you can turn the screen off you press it again and it turns the screen back on also this uh, double indicator here with uh, milliamp hours and milliwatt hours works for the special cells the lithium ion 1.5 volt cells and here is the alternative version for triple uh, a so this is triple a and you've seen the double a before so this is the same kind of chemistry with lithium ion when you are uh, testing these batteries and you are charging discharging them it might be confusing because they don't have 1.2 or 1.5 volt really they have 3.6 volt you can actually measure them in uh, not milliamps but in milliwatt hours and you can change that by pressing this button shortly but uh, you have you have need this to be on discharge so it shows what is doing and if you press this it's turning off the screen but if you can see is is the screen is still almost on yes so that was it for now i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this video so if you are looking for a more advanced version of this charger I highly recommend you this one. Also, this one is great if you have the new uh, lithium ion 1.5 volt cells. This can charge them right away. It's specially designed for them. It automatically detects them. So you don't have to do anything with it. You don't set up. You only have this button here for changing the chemistry of the lithium cells. And that's all. With this one, you can do some more advanced stuff. As you can see, you can change the charging current for lithium ion. You can check your cells and you can also check the cells the new generation with the lithium ion 1.5 volt one until my next video see you and bye 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 bye